Hello, thank you for returning. We have been discussing in the previous videos why electromagnetic radiations were considered to have dual nature. What findings did led scientists to believe that electromagnetic radiations did not just have wave-like nature, they had particle nature too. In this video, we are going to discuss the black body radiation. Scientists took an iron rod and they heated it. And when they put it in a flame and they heated it, what did they observe? They observed that as the rod kept on getting warmer and warmer, it, when it came to around 4000 Kelvin, the rod started glowing and it started glowing red. And when you continue to heat it further, the rod starts changing its color. From red, it moves on to, through the entire uh, range of the visible light and goes up to blue. Red has low frequency and blue has higher frequency, which meant that as we heat an object, the frequency of the particles or the radiations which are given out, they increase. And hence the change, the gradation of color from red to blue. It was observed that it did not depend on the nature of the object. If you heat any object, when it reaches around 4000 Kelvin, the energy given out by it, it starts emitting in the visible range and we can see this gradation of color irrespective of the material that we use. A black body is supposed to be an ideal body and this body is ideal. Why? Because it is expected to absorb all radiations and when you heat it up, it releases the radiations that it had absorbed. Therefore, usually a body would release only those radiations which it has absorbed. Therefore, a black body being the ideal body which absorbs all radiations should give out all radiations too. So when our own sun is one such body which is a black body and is expected to release all radiations and therefore the electromagnetic spectrum that we obtain from the sun moves from the ultraviolet region to the visible region which is mainly the region our eyes are adapted to and it moves on to the infrared region and further on. When black body radiations there were graphs that were plotted by scientists with these black bodies and they found that when you raise the temperature of a black body, we get a curve. Now classical physics told us that if you heat an object, the frequency of the particles increases and hence wavelength decreases and this should continue decreasing and if this happens, we found that the intensity of the radiations given out was increasing with increasing temperature. T1 was a lower temperature, T2 was higher than T1 and T3 was still higher. So the intensity of the radiations being given out by the black body increased with increase of temperature. According to classical physics, as you go on increasing the temperature, the intensity of the radiation should go on increasing and that should be the trend. It should simply go on increasing. But scientists found that all these were just curves. They weren't going straight up. They were forming these, these uh, curves which reached a peak and then they went down. As the temperature was increased or as the object was heated, it gave out radiations and it peaked. It had highest intensity at a certain wavelength and then as it, it was noticed when it comes to the ultraviolet region within the visible region it would around the visible region if it came around 4000 Kelvin uh, at around 4000 Kelvin you would observe that the uh, light is in visible region but when it reached the ultraviolet region usually we found that the curve would simply go down instead of going up now this was dramatically known as the ultraviolet catastrophe because if such a thing happened, what should, it, what should have happened as a result of this? As we go on heating, the intensity should increase. And when it reaches the ultraviolet uh, radiations area, at that point, the intensity should be so high that like if you have an oven and the filament in the oven is heating up or you have a light bulb and it, which gets heated up, when it gets so heated up that it reaches the ultraviolet radiation, the intensity should be so high that we should be blasted by ultraviolet radiations, which does not happen. 
Rather, in the ultraviolet radiation, it shows a dip. So this ultraviolet catastrophe, which was expected, does not actually occur. This could not be explained by scientists. So there was a scientist called Max Planck, and he, in 1901, he studied the black body radiations, and he tried to give an explanation for this, for this peaking and then the sudden dip. And what was, he could not find, an, uh, whatever logic he gave was, he said that an object, a solid, when you heat it, heat is nothing but a transfer of energy. And when the object is, the energy is transferred, the molecules or the atoms of a solid, they cannot bodily move from one place to another, but they only vibrate to and fro about their position. So when they vibrate, they give out energy. And this energy is the one that we record as the as its radiation or the as the in the electromagnetic spectrum. So he said that this energy, if these bodies, these particles are moving, they cannot move endlessly and the vibration cannot be endless. It has to be quantized. He introduced the concept of quantization. He said it does not have continuous energy it only has some certain fixed values for example uh, if you are um, if you are looking if you're blinking and you see the light coming from a bulb and it's an alternative current source of light we see light as continuous because uh, our eyes cannot cannot record they cannot record the speed at which light turns off and turns on so to us, light appears to be continuous while actually the bulb is turning on and off, on and off in uh, fractions of seconds, which our eyes cannot uh, notice. Similarly, this, this quantization is not visible to us because it is so minuscule. It is so small that it is not visible for macroscopic objects, but it is always present. So what did he say? He gave a mathematical solution. He said energy that is of this uh, wave that is given out, the electromagnetic wave, is equal to nh nu, where n is an integer, h is the Planck's constant, and he gave the value of Planck's constant equal to 6.626 into 10 to the power minus 34 joules second. And it's, this is the reason that it's so small that it is absolutely non-observable to us for macroscopic objects. The energy is quantized at a very, very small uh, level. And therefore, this scale is not visible to us and hence we think that it is continuous. So he said that n can be any integer, one, two, three, four. So the minimum energy that can be given out, he called it the quantum. And that quantum, the photon, he said, has an energy of h nu where n is one. So E is equal to H nu. He said, if N is one, is the, that minimum energy of quantization. And energy given out can only be multiples of this. It cannot be continuous. And that's the reason why this could be, this curve could be explained by him. So this led scientists to accept the fact that electromagnetic radiations should have particle-like nature to be quantized because waves are continuous. So this was the first step towards the dual nature of electromagnetic radiation. Thank you for watching.